know you're gonna do it. How You Gonna Do It is a song about a girl that's been followed, almost stalked, for six years. It was based on a, a situation which inspired the idea. I know a lot of women can relate. And at the same time, I was watching a lot of the crime channel and I was uh, intrigued by and, and horrified by these men that eventually end up killing their ex-girlfriends because they will not let them go. So I finished watching a program at about 10 o'clock and sat on the piano and finished the song at 2 in the morning. And I don't really remember writing much of it, but uh, when I'm inspired, that's the kind of thing and that's the process that happens. So come through, let me show you where we are doing most of the things. So we chose this apartment because of the light and the view of Josie is amazing. The location we're using is called Shine Studios. They're in Bramfontein um, on Smith Street and they've been really helpful to us. It's right in Bramfontein, which is just powerful enough. I mean, it's got that New York edge to it. Um, there's a lot of beautiful things in Bramfontein and a lot of things that are not quite right yet, but there's beauty in that as well. You couldn't walk around naked though in this apartment, no. Basically what we wanted to do is separate the video into like two halves, one for the masculine, one for the feminine, and like in the same way, like one protagonist, one antagonist. I played Morgan the, the song and he said, well luckily I like it, so um, I'm really happy to be working on it. He had this idea that this guy's eventually either caught me in real life and put me in this, this box, or it's his fantasy, it's his dream to have me captured in his own apartment. So where I'm sitting now is, is the apartment where this obsessive human being is, and he's fantasizing about the various ways of, of ending my life. And the antagonist in the song, plays out these fantasies in his head about murder and stalking and just his kind of presence and his kind of just thinking about it um, affects the female's world. Hi, my name's Michael Thompson. I'm playing the psychopathic stalker in the video. I don't have much experience of stalking myself, but we learn quickly, I think. It's been a lot of fun though. Louise is absolutely lovely and yeah, it's been, it really has been a lot of fun. So what I'm doing is I am watching the live and happening of my music video. So I'm out of the way watching the screen of Mike, the actor who's playing my stalker and who's caught me and put me in this box. He's actually surprisingly good looking for a stalker. Oh, this is looking really good. I am happy and excited. The visual technique that we've used that the video surrounds is a um, something called a camera obscura and we've used that to kind of symbolize the kind of like a mental prison that Louise is in. Camera obscura is a technique I knew nothing about. It's a blackened out space so no light can come in. You make one little area of light and then you put the camera through that lens and whatever's on the outside of that box will be projected into the box but upside down. With going undressed for this music video, completely nude, I'm covered in all the right places, so I feel secure about that. But Morgan wanted me to be as vulnerable as possible, and, and nobody's more vulnerable than when they are completely naked. What's happening now is I'm going to do the first shot of the day, um, and just to catch the light in time, it's going to be coming up, um, and I'm going to be wearing nipple covers. We just did the first shot. Um, we had Louise inside the camera obscura. We had no idea what it would look like, but it turned out to look awesome. I have done the first look of the day. It wasn't nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. I have never seen anything like it and probably never will.
I've wanted to do this camera obscure idea for a while, but up until now we weren't able to because we hadn't had a camera that could expose for these kind of levels. Um, we're using very, very low light and the C300's ISO goes up to very high levels, so we've been able to do that. This is the second scene. I'm not sure what I have to do. I'll be directed. It's strange for me because usually I control everything in the music. Um, you know, in a music video, I am kind of, I think, fourth on the on the rung, and I just listen to the director, and it's quite relaxing, actually. <laughs> well, this has been the most simple shoot I've ever been on, because the hair is just like, it's distressed, so it's got to look like I've been stuck in a box for a very long time, so it's kind of greasy and weathered. We needed to create a wet look. So basically, we took some water and I actually wet it between my hands and actually played with her hair and then she flicked it about. The aim behind the makeup was basically to go for something that was going to last the entire day on shoot. We went for our double wear foundation, which gives 15 hours of staying power um, and also looks great on camera. We went for a very smoky look on her eyes. Her choice was shades of um, bronze. So we did black and bronzes, long wearing mascara, and a very, very neutral look. In my mind, I was out at a party or a dinner party, and as I was leaving, I, I kind of in my head thought this guy kind of snatched me. So, but it's been a couple days now, so I did definitely have evenings, like strong makeup on, but it's not perfect now. This is the last shot of the day, and it's been an amazing day, but a long day, and um, it was actually my idea to take this beautiful makeup and mess it all up. So we're going to be doing a crying scene with tears coming down my face. I suppose it's the hopelessness that I'm not going to get out of this, this space, after all. A little bit to your right, there we go. I was saying earlier to the guys that it really feels like I'm a part of a painting. Because I'm so vulnerable and so exposed in this music video, it really helps to feel like I'm creating a, a piece of art. It's, it's so much bigger than just me. And uh, it, it's, a, it's about all of us hoping to have something visually that hasn't been seen before in this country. We're creating art. It's not just another music video. Well, that's a wrap. We're done. Thank you for being with me on the making of How You're Gonna Do It. I hope you're gonna love the music video.
How you gonna do it?